On this episode of Big's Build Hot Rods, I forgot to do an intro. <laughs> so here we are doing it at the end. But we're going to take this thing, or I already did take this thing, and wash it, tagged it. Uh, first wash in at least 33 years as far as the tags say. And uh, we cleaned it up, tried to buff it. A little bit of a fail, but eh, you can watch me fail. You know, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, that's where we are, and uh, I'll just give you guys a little intro here. That way you, you know, see where I'm at so I didn't, like, leave you guys hanging. Here we go with a halfway good one. We ain't going to say another good one like pudding. Halfway good one. Got to be better than the last. Legally driving the panel truck. All the temperatures look good. Drove it to Bible study tonight on the way home now. Everything works. Windshield wipers still ain't great. Haven't put no new ones on. And it's been raining here for days. But uh yeah. Everything's good to go. This thing rides so good. I'm so I'm I'm impressed with it. I'm happy to be riding it. Uh hopefully. By the weekend, we'll take and get a first wash on this thing. First wash in at least 33 years. Try to get the roof. No, I mean, all you're hitting is the top corner. Yeah, try to reach up over that deal. That's where the 30 years of crud is. Yeah, it was black all over it. All that mold from setting all them years.
right. Should have brought a ladder. We're we're too short to see the roof of it anyway. Scrub a dub dub. The door seals are pretty much non existent on this thing, so I'm sure we're going to have a wet butt. people cringing here and that thing rub on there but it ain't like the paint's great anybody on here got some cobra r's cheap hit me up <laughs> that's close looking for a set these ones are kind of peely. Chrome coming off of them. What do you think of that old safety bungee cord on the hood? get ready and order mirrors for this thing like on your 62 because you can't see nothing I'm gonna leave the spotlight though with it Doesn't look like it's coming off, is it? The black.
it doesn't look like it's coming very clean. Might, might have to buff the dirt off of it. Man, look, it's showing primer through here. Oh, it's going to be a patina rod by the time we're done. Okay, let's do a little inside cleaning on this thing. We did some, we did a car wash deal. Uh, you know, kinda, I guess you'll say. It didn't wash it real good, but we're gonna clean the inside of this thing up. Let's start with the windshield. Bought me some Rain-X 2-in-1 spray. We'll go from there. I don't think the inside of this windshield's been washed yet. And uh, like I said, it's tagged was 33 years old. I did wash the outside to drive it, but nothing the inside ain't been done. I think I'm going to have to get some goof off for this tent deal here. You still put peeling tent off. Well, we'll start with this. A little extra won't hurt. Nice. Shoo. Down there by that rubber is real bad. I can slide over here. Get the other side. Clean paper towels. That's on the outside. Whew. Yeah, definitely got to use a razor knife or something to get this off. But we'll get the outside and we'll go with that later. We'll, uh, maybe we'll just use some of this spray cleaner on a dash too for now. Why not? Can't hurt it. it says two in one. <laughs> Oh, 
too. Not the heavy off, then we'll go over it with some armor all or something here. Square body just rode by. And that gold when it's wet looks good. I wish this whole thing looked like that. We're gonna try to buff this thing here in a few. Probably be on this same video. We'll go from there. See, see if any of it will come out about there. Gotta be careful. Like I said, the hood's already showing primer to it, so it's gonna be an iffy deal. Now this Crown Vic sat in a junkyard for several years. It was hit in the front. I don't know how many years, but quite a few. And uh, they thought the fuel pump was bad and really all it was was the uh, fuel rollover switch or the uh, emergency shutoff switch was popped. Even though I put a fuel pump on it, but later found out that the switch was kicked out. So it's got a new fuel pump now too. So, and don't get me wrong, I am definitely not a detailer, so this thing ain't going to be perfect. I'm not uh, one to shine my cars up all the time. I drive them. And when I was younger, I kept them a little cleaner. Now, I don't so much. I mean, I'll wash them, clean the tires and wheels a little bit, but as far as detailing them up, I don't do that. Armor all. Or at least I think it is. It ain't got no label. I don't think armor all is going to do a lot of good on the metal part. See, after washing that with the Windex stuff, still dirty.
definitely looks better. What's on that dash or spots? It almost looks like water stains. Put no armor all on the grip part of the steering wheel. She gets a little slick that way. One time when I was real young, I did. I had a vinyl seat in the truck. Armor all that thing all up, nice and clean. Man, I went around the corner like it slid me in the passenger seat. I learned my lesson real quick. Don't do that. And don't do the brake pedal because it's like that too. I think the dash ain't too bad. Let me do this glass part with rain axe. Just paper towels. The instrument cluster. Still dirty, man. That's wild. <clears throat> kind of need a pick to get in them little corners, but I ain't all about that. It is what it is. It looks a lot better than it did. So, uh, I'm going to do the outside of the window. Maybe wipe the doors down a little bit inside. And then that's about it for the cleaning. And I think we're going to go to buffing this thing. So uh, let's go from there. Let me slide out by you guys. Let's take a look here. I don't know how well y'all can see. But it's definitely a lot better. I still haven't put that piece under the dash over there. I do have it made. I got to put it on. I did order some vents for this dash. They're little, like, I think they're inch or inch and a half round stainless steel circles. Like that. I'm going to do, like, one here, one here, one here. And then three on the other side to direct the defrost toward the window. That way I don't have to cut no slits or nothing in here. I just take a hole saw, pop some holes down in there, and I'll have defrost. Because the defrost is only like right here. Yeah, like right through there. So if I put me some circles right there with the vents, they're directional vents, it'll be good. So yeah, all right, here we go. Let's uh, jump to the other. Okay. So I'm going to attempt to do a little bit of buffing on this hood. And, uh, I think I've only buffed one car before this one in my life. I really did a bunch of buffing, so. Probably got the wrong stuff, but this is what I got. So we're going to try it and just see what happens. Let's rub a little bit on here. Let me get that rag. I think I got it in my pocket. Now that I got this all over my fingers, I'm not smart enough to grab a rag. Definitely not the right stuff. This is polishing stuff, but not really buffing compound, but we'll see what happens. 
we'll just start with that small spot there and just see what we do. Because, like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing here. We're just going to roll with it. This thing's supposed to be variable speed. something wrong let me get a clean rag wipe this off just see you want to go all or nothing it's probably gonna burn her up That did nothing. <laughs> Excellent. Some game off dirt. I mean, there's a difference, but it ain't much. You guys tell me what I'm doing wrong, because I know I'm doing wrong. Never had nothing with very nice paint on it too, uh, buff, really. Years ago, I had a freshly painted Mustang that lasted about a month before I wrecked it. But didn't even get a chance to buff it. It was brand new paint and wrecked it. The front where the sun ain't been on definitely looks better. Yeah. I think there's some difference. Let's check it out. I don't know if you can see that with the sun. But there's definitely a little bit of difference there. See how dull that is. That brung it up some. So uh, let's do this side over here. And we'll go from there. Let's see what we got. Not the best angle, that's for sure.
I know you're supposed to stay away from edges too, especially on thin paint. Like I said, I, I don't know what I'm doing now. Just things I've heard. <laughs> Lather her up a little bit. Get that. Ain't really a buffer, I don't think. Dude told me it was a buffer, but I don't believe it is. Not variable speed. Unless, what's this? Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> See a little bit of metal flake in it now. Or metallic, whatever. I don't look bad. That was smart. Clean the window before I did this. Now it's all over the window. Genius. I mean... The edges look a lot better. And the side, don't don't mind the fender because I didn't do it. That's that other paint, but the sun's really messing with us here. Can't really see it in the sun, but yeah, that the side of it don't look bad at all. Around the front edge, just the top, this it's so thin. But uh. I guess I'll put you guys on time lapse now instead of making you suffer through the rest of this. We'll try to do some on the side or something here. Maybe we'll go to the other side where the sun ain't at and try it first. By then the sun will be down. So yeah, let me put this on time lapse and uh, we'll try this door. Maybe maybe the side back there.
I just don't know that this is even helping. Don't know that it's worth the time. I mean, we got a little bit of shine, but there just ain't nothing left of this paint. You can see the line right here where I didn't come around that corner. But there ain't much there. I just don't think it's worth doing. I gotta paint the bottom half of this thing. So, maybe we can get that part looking good. I don't know. We will see. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to do a little more, but I ain't going to make you guys suffer through it. And then I'll show you what I got when I'm, you know, done what I'm going to do. Yep, so I think I'm going to call it here on this air buffing. I mean, it, it might be a little bit better, but I don't think it's worth all the effort. Maybe... Maybe someday I'll get real energetic and paint the whole thing. But you can see it didn't do a whole lot. I didn't touch this door, but I did the top half of that, the whole hood. I just don't see where it's worth it. it ain't worth all my time. It is a little smoother to the touch. But, I mean, you could maybe wet sand it, but man, it's so, like I said, the paint's so thin, especially on the hood. You couldn't wet sand much of it. But I think that's where we're going to call this one. Give you guys the old first wash video in 33 years. Folks tend to like uh, the first wash. So hopefully, you know, we'll have a few views off of this one. Because uh, Lord knows nobody watched the Bondo video. I think we, we ain't, didn't even get 400 views on that video. Which... I've been, you know, not that I'm getting crazy amount of views, but I've been getting at least uh, 1,000 to 2,000 views on each video. But not this one, not the last one. But uh, anyway, I'm making them whether you guys watch them or not. Like I said before, I kind of, kind of partially doing this. So when I'm gone, my kids can see some video of me and see that. And, Ever since I was a young man, I like to document and take pictures of the cars I've had and things like that. And this is just a new form of it for me. So I can, you know, so I can do some video of my builds, you know, and uh, have documents of it. And, and you know, I'm, I, I'm happy with that. I, like I said, it's just a plus that I get to make you guys some videos. It's, it's cool that, you know, people actually like what I'm doing. But uh, here we are, and this is the inside pretty cleaned up. Of course, I didn't vacuum it again, because where I live, as you can see, you just, you're vacuuming every day if you try that. And I'm driving this thing. I, I tagged this thing uh, Tuesday, I think it was. It was monsoon and Tuesday here. Wednesday, it rained a little. I drove it to church Wednesday night. And uh, I'll put that little video in here somewhere but uh that was the first actual drive with tags on it and since then in the evenings and all i've been running the wheels off of this thing me and the wife went to dinner in it i've, I've just i went all over in it took it to a car show uh yesterday for a little while just to just to say i did hey with people around it people like it so yeah this is where I'm going to call this one. Don't forget, man. Uh, like, share, subscribe. I think there's only like 15% of people watching these videos that subscribe to my channel. If everybody would subscribe, I'd, <laughs> I I might make it to 1,000. Never know. But, uh, yeah. This, that's it for this one. And God bless you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.